but of all the parts we played and all the sketches we did, this is possibly everybody's favorite. Here are some highlights of the noblest parody of them all. Rinse the blood off my toga. <laughs> this play is presented with apologies to William Shakespeare and Sir Francis Bacon, just in case. <laughs> I'm Flavius Maximus, the well-known private Roman I. <laughs> My license number is I-X-I-V-L-L-C-C-D-I-X-M-V. <laughs> also comes in handy as an eye chart. <laughs> if you can read it, you don't need glasses. <laughs> if you can pronounce it, you're Polish. <laughs> Tonight, I'd like to tell you about the Julius Caesar caper. It all began during the Ides of March, right after the Festival of Pan the god of theatrical criticism. <laughs> I was in my office. I had just wrapped up another case, Suetonius the Gladiator. He'd been fixing fights at the Colosseum. He had this crooked lion that had taken a dime. <laughs> you Flavius Maximus, Private Roman I? That's right. What's on your mind? Just a minute. Are we alone? Yeah, we're alone. <laughs> Are you sure we're alone? I'm sure we're alone. Are you positive we're alone? I'm positive we're alone. Then who's that standing beside you? That's you. I know, but can I be trusted? <laughs> I could see I was dealing with no ordinary man. This guy was a yo-yo. <laughs> Buddy, what's on your mind? Flavius Maximus, a terrible thing has happened. It's the greatest crime in the history of Rome. Oh, I'd give it to me straight. What's happened? Julius Caesar has been murdered. Julius Caesar murdered? I couldn't believe my ears. Big Julie was dead. <laughs> and so Flavius takes the case, and accompanied by Brutus, they head for the scene of the crime. I just fill me in on a setup here. Uh, come here. Who uh, are those uh, shifty-looking characters over there? Shifty-looking? They're senators. Well, that explains it. <laughs> They were all here when it happened. Who's the uh, guy with the lean and hungry look? Well, that's Cassius. Such dudes are dangerous. <laughs> Who is the uh, likeliest suspect? The fella next to him. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's you. I know, but can I be trusted? <laughs> This case was beginning to take on an interesting new flavor. Bananas. <laughs> hey. Who's the broad? The broad? That's Caesar's wife. Her name is Calpurnia. Yeah? Well, she's a suspect. I'll talk to her. Hem, um, pardon me, uh, Mrs. Caesar? Yes. Flavius Maximus, Private Roman I. What do you know about this? I told him. I told him, Julie, don't go. Julie, don't go. I told him, but no, he wouldn't listen. Hello, Mrs. Caesar. I, I pleaded with him, don't go. If I told him once, I told him a thousand times, Julie, don't go. Yeah, Mrs. Caesar. But would he listen to his own wife like talking to a wolf? Julie, it's the Ides of March. Beware already. Sergeant! Would you take Mrs. Caesar home, please? Come along, ma'am. I told him. I told him, Julie, don't go. Don't go to the forum. A funny thing will happen. Well, what do you think? Now, I don't know. This is a puzzler. A real puzzler, not a clue. Well, cheer up, Flavius. You'll come up with the right answer. After all, Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> what was that? I said Rome wasn't built in a day. Rome wasn't built in a day. Hey, that's, that's good. You like it? Yeah. It's yours. <laughs> Thanks. And so Flavius heads for Cicero's bar to pick up some information. Cicero is a bartender who not only sets up drinks, he also sets up classic jokes. Long time no see. What's happening, baby? Everything's cool, man. Uh, what are you drinking? Uh. Give me a, a Martinez. 
You mean a martini? If I want two, I'll ask for them. Hello, Flavius. Flutus, what are you doing here? I was looking for you. Hey, who's that on the table? A Cicero the bartender. Hey, that's a funny place for him to carry a knife. In his back. <laughs> he was stabbed through the portico. Hey, that's even more painful than the rotunda. A <laughs> two, Brute. Well, Flavius, have you come up with any answers? Who killed Julius Caesar? Suddenly, the pieces fell into place. I put two and two together, and I got IV. <laughs> yeah! I, uh, I think I know the killer. You do? The clue to the whole thing is the way it was done, the modus operandi. The what? Don't you understand plain Latin? Modus operandi. The gimmick. Oh, gimmick, I know. Greek, he understands. <laughs> all right, Flavius, who did it? Obvious. The only guy who was around when all the hits took place. Brutus. Or should I say, Mr. Big? What are you getting at? If the sandal fits, wear it. <laughs> You're the guy who put out that contract on Caesar, aren't you? You're out of your head. I came to your office. I hired you to find the killer. Pretty smart, but not smart enough. Now, are you coming downtown, or do I have to call a couple of centurions to lean on you? <laughs> All right, Seamus, I did it. I killed Julius Caesar. Brutus tries to escape, but Flavius corners him at the scene of the crime, the Senate. Get him back here. Hold it, quiet. Will you give me that horn, please? Uh, get lost, Fuzz. Get smart, Brutus. We can smoke you out. I'd like to see you try. Give me the incense. Incense? <laughs> Okay, one false move and I'll fill you full of bronze. All right, you got me, Fuzz, but I'll be back. Oh, I don't think so. This isn't a series. Centurions! Read him his rights, cuff him, and book him. Listen to me, Flavius, I'll be back. Just remember one thing all roads lead to Rome. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait a minute. What was that last one? I said all roads lead to Rome. <laughs> all roads lead to Rome. Hey, that's the best one yet. You like it? Yeah. You can't have it. Oh, get out of here. Good work, Flavius. All Rome salutes you. Thank you. Hail Flavius. Hail, Hail Flavius. Thank you, my friends. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with a, an unknown admirer. You're sure your husband doesn't mind, eh? Well, frankly, I don't care. I told him, Julie, don't go. Julie, don't go. I told him he wouldn't listen. You know you have the right to remain silent.